Hey guys, it is Kiki back again for our love spread for Aries. This is again for singles. It is not for couples and we're going to go over what you may need to change in order to find your love. So Aries, I'm going to start with my angel deck here. We're going to go over five different areas that you may need to change in order for you to find the right kind of love. Because I feel like some of you guys are actually, you're dating, but you are just like not reaching a, a new level, right? You're not getting to that exclusive dating. You're kind of like one and done. Next, you know, all right. So we have spiritual growth. For me, that, oh, okay. Oh, oh, well, damn, all right. <laughs> all right. Do we have spiritual growth? Changing your mind. Seeking and finding. See, look, what I said. It's in reverse. <laughs> mm. Decisions. Okay. Let me get one more. One more. That's seeking and finding, man. And it's right next to decisions. Hmm. You guys, some of you guys are definitely dating, but you're just, you need help figuring out why you can't keep that date around or why you keep losing interest. And you guys are literally changing your mind about this. Okay, so we're going to put one more card and we have the healing from the past. That is literally a commonality for almost every sign so far. And I guess, you know, it would be a common thing for most people not being able to um, reach a, a better level in their love lives because a lot of us are not healing, healing from our past. All right, so getting right into it. We have spiritual growth, okay? And this card is going to represent the issues that may be surrounding you. So this is you. This is your energy. I don't even feel that it is um, anyone else around you or anything else around you. This is something that you have to do on your own spiritual growth and it could just be that you're surrounding yourself around energies that are you know they don't really bang with your vibe right they're killing your vibe they're not um, vibrating on the same frequency so you kind of need to just move on and it could be also um you are very um spiritual person and the um, relationships in the past for you these individuals have not been able to reach that le that level because when it comes to the Aries, they're very, um, you guys can adapt very well, right? You're very passionate um, and kind of sometimes, I don't want to use this word in a negative way, but like impulsive, but um, I mean, that, that is a negative trait. It can be, but sometimes it's not, you guys want to just boom, you know, you, you want to just go ahead and make that move. You're very passionate about what it is that you believe in. And you're, you know, when it's time to change, you guys don't really have um, much difficulty. And so maybe in your relationships in the past, you've been dealing with someone or people that haven't been able to adapt as well as you have. And so when it comes to, um, excuse me, when it comes to this changing your mind here, <laughs> this is going to represent um, something that, um, you need to change within yourself, right? So this right here, changing, changing your mind, you have to learn, um, what do you want? And I feel like for some of you, this issue is coming from, um, the issue in your love life is coming from you not really knowing what it is that you want. Okay. And then also from that impatientness that you have, you guys are not patient and that's a flaw and that has come, you know, and it's affecting your relationship in a negative way because you might not, you know, want to wait for this person. You want to wait for the change or you want it right now. You know, hey, I know we said we we're going left, but you know what? Five seconds ago, I decided for us to go right. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should go left. You, know, you guys are very indecisive, um, not, you know, not able to um, just make that decision and you're, you know, super impulsive. OK, and we also have the decision card here. And what this is letting you know, um, this is something that um, you need to liberate yourself from within with this. You need to be able to 
um, make a decision and stick with it, okay? If you are um, one of these individuals who are dating, you need to first decide if that's really what you want to do. Do you really want to date or do you want to just work on yourself first? And if you feel as though you've worked on yourself, then you need to make sure that you are looking out for people who are on the spiritual growth path just like you and make the decision um, right away because you know right away if you want to deal with a person or not. I know I do. Sometimes I'm just, you know, like, oh, what the hell? In the past, I've been like that. I'll just date you because you're for right now. And then in the end, you're like, why did I even do that? So make sure that you guys are, you know, dealing with people because you really want to deal with them. You really want to get to know them, not because you're looking for something to do. And then here we have the seeking and finding in reverse. And this is representing your behavioral pattern. So we have this in reverse. And this to me is letting me know that you guys have trouble with um, really grasping what it is that you want, right? And your inability to kind of make up your mind about what it is that you want, what it is that you need. You keep changing your mind about it. So you're in the end left with nothing and nobody because you can't decide. Now, I'm going to pull some romance and I just want to ask for the Aries, what are some possible love outcomes if they are to work on everything they need to work on in their lives? What are some possible outcomes? What can happen in the Aries love life? Okay, so I don't read from the floor anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. You need to make the effort because great love is worth taking the steps you need. Um, you're guided to take. Sorry, you guys see that? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And that's what I just call these. I call these the five steps to finding love. And then on the bottom, we have new love. A new person has stared your romantic feelings. So I do. I'm feeling like you guys are, um, you know, entertaining someone, but you, you're just doing that. So you might be entertaining the right person. And you are just like, I can't make up my mind. Let's pull some tarot and just... I want to get get some clarity on this decisions. Can I have some clarity on the decisions for the Aries? A lot. It's oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> so we have the nine of cups, Knight of Cups. I feel like I oh my god, I literally just pulled that for someone else. Might have been this in this um, love spread that I did. Okay, so the Knight of Cups with the decisions. One more. One more. Okay. And the Ace of Wands. And then I want to clarify this, make an effort. <clears throat> Let's clarify this, make an effort. Clarify this, make an effort. Two of cups this is this is good okay so decisions this is something that you really need to you really need to work on okay it's like the fifth step and it's one of the most important steps because it's within so you deciding what it is that you really want in your life so that way you can start manifesting it right does that make sense and so then we have the ace of um, wands in reverse okay and so with this decision it's letting me know that you know um if you don't um learn um i don't want to say learn but if you don't figure out what it is that you want in life in your love life um in general you're you're going to have some delays okay you are going to delay the process of you you know moving forward to um, this make the effort great love is worth taking the steps for it. this is going to delay your effort this is going to delay your process 
if you continue to be indecisive about what you want and not really take the time to heal and um you know learn how to really just make this the decisions that you need you know put your big girl or your big boy pants on and you know let's be adults because let's you know let's be honest everyone wants to feel some type of love or loving you know energy and then you have the knight of of cups here okay the knight of cups and he is um the prince charming you know <laughs> he's a uh, this romance here right it's a romantic person he's coming swiftly he's coming fast um to offer you you know he's like your prince charming he might even give you a proposal or she <laughs> this energy here okay and then with this make an effort you have the eight of pentacles and a two of cups okay i love this two of cups man that right there just let you know it's just a loving card a loving 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 card okay this is partnerships this is a proposal too and this is a reading for for Aries, but there's a lot of water here. <laughs> okay, a lot of water. <clears throat> um, fire and water. I like those signs together sometimes. Those elements, rather, they can comp complement each other very well. <laughs> can either be hot and steamy, or just <laughs> water gonna put that fire out. But with this two of cups, this is how you know that you have some. Um, partnerships here you have some love coming this you this is balance you have a cup they have a cup you guys are going to unite but it all happens if you make the effort hope you guys can see these cards I know the angle is a little bit off but we'll make it happen and then the two of cups is paired with the eight of pentacles okay this is all for me all about enjoyment making the effort and you're you're going to enjoy this this love that you're going to have this new love that you're going to have okay so guys make sure that you're focusing on your healing okay and letting go of any and everything that no longer serves you um because in the end you're going to get that love life that you've been literally wanting and working towards some of you okay so i hope you guys um this resonate with you again these readings are timeless so if it doesn't resonate with you now it could resonate with you in the future and as usual as always i'm sending you guys great vibes peace